What's going on, Phoenicians? Welcome to another commentary. These are some things I used to do a lot, and I, I wanted to get back into doing them again because I know a lot of the uh, YouTubers I'm friends with do these driving videos where they drive around uh, Japan with uh, a lot of their talk and stuff like that. And, you know, I love playing GTA Online, and I mentioned earlier that I haven't really been playing it that much. I just usually get on to do my daily objectives and to drive around. Well, actually, my daily objectives did get. Oh, there is executive search. Bike race, go for a run at the shooting range, and perform a relay for 10 minutes. I'm going to go find this executive and get some money. And I'm also going to talk to you guys about a, what I want in a future GTA DLC. So essentially, this is going to be a wish list video um, for what I want out of GTA because recently, like, virtually none of my friends that I play with regularly are on GTA because it is indeed dying down. It is kind of getting really boring. Um, be quite honest with you, the last DLC sort of everyone just got kind of driven out of it, really, really tired of it. So, all right, let's see where this motherfucker is. So basically, what I want to talk about is primarily what I think needs to be changed in the game. I'm not going to really worry about like stuff that should be added, like vehicles or DLC-wise, but I'm talking about like uh, he's right there. Okay. Or oh, never mind. Oh, I killed him anyway. <laughs> wait a second. Hold on. Wait, did I get the did I get the win? Wait. Yeah, I did. I won. <laughs> that was awesome. Let me hide. Okay, he's over there. Cool. But I'm also gonna discuss what I think needs to be added into the game, such as like various game modes, um, various uh, changes that need to be added to the game, or made to the game such as uh, changes to the structure of PvP and I'm also going to discuss um, what I think should be added for more PvE and I think this game has been lacking in PvE for quite some time. In the last few updates, especially since the uh, Lowrider update when they added those really shitty Lamar missions that I still haven't completed as you can see down there in the, in the mini-map I still have a Lamar mission left to do there. I'm not going to bother playing it. Let me show you the start menu here. Um, let me show you how many PV, PvP missions there are these days. Like, they added a bunch of these adversary modes, and there's only been a few that were good. Like, Slasher is awesome, De to death, till death do us part sucks. Beast vs. Slasher sucks, this sucks, cross the line sucks, Drop Zone was awesome, I love playing Drop Zone and every bullet counts awesome, but everything else really sucks. Like, all of these were really bad. So the only games that were really good are pretty much just Slasher, Drop Zone, and Every Bullet Counts. So I really think that um, Rockstar needs to stop adding in adversary modes because you know they're they're boring. They really are boring. And when a good one comes out like the uh, uh, Drop Zone game, I'm gonna call on my cars here. You know it's and then another one comes out that shit. You know, I want to play the drop zone, and then everyone's Shit, playing the new sorry. one. What, what the hell? I'm on the I'm on the street. Why can't I get my car over here? It's really hard for me to join the. Um, it's really hard for me to join the adversary mode I want to play. So maybe Rockstar should add a way to, you need huh? especially when you're doing quick job or Let quick join. They need to add a way for me to be able to organize which ones I want to play. And that gets to my second point. The only reason I play daily objective, or the only reason I play capture modes, is because of daily objectives. And I'm gonna drive around in my assault. I, I'll get back. Basically, to work. daily objectives are the only reasons why I play capture modes. And the only time I've ever played capture mode outside of daily objectives was to get an unlock. If you win a certain amount of daily objective matches or rounds, you get the uh, super, uh, not the super, was the sports rims for free for your cards. So I was able to pretty much unlock that by pretty much doing my capture modes whenever they came up for daily objectives. Which, in all realities, is just kind of a sad reality, right? I think Rockstar should remove captures. Uh, nobody really plays them anymore when they do play, like whenever I play them. Um, all I do is really, I just stick around. I don't do anything else but just like, booby trap the um, box. And have them, uh, you know, have the unwitting low level who join because they don't know what a capture mode is get blown up a thousand times and that's probably contributing to the fact that people around my rank 509 it's probably why they don't play capture modes that much in all honesty because 
It's just uh, really stupid, really boring capture, you know, really boring game mode. Um, it's hard to get people to want to join. Um, if the game, if you let the clock go down and there's only one person in the entire uh, lobby, nine times out of ten that person will quit. So whenever I have to do a capture mode for my daily objective, it is very, very difficult to do that. Maybe I should do my daily objectives instead of just driving around normally. So I'm going to go grab my bike then. Out of my garage way over here. Um, so what they should do is I think they should probably remove the capture... Maybe not remove capture modes from the game, but move, remove the requirement, I think, from daily objectives. Because people like me who play daily objectives regularly, religiously, as one of the few reasons I still play GTA Online, um, it's obnoxious. It really is. Having you know, like I see my daily objectives and I have to play a capture mode. I'm like, God damn it! I have to play a capture mode. You know, it's that type of reality, right? So they should remove that from GTA Online. So remove, uh, stop adding in PVP stuff. Stop adding the capture as a reality, uh, as a requirement for daily objectives. And what they should also do is add more PV PVE stuff. PVE stuff makes cooperation more fun and I think because recently like you know this game is kind of de degenerated to one of those times where it's just everyone's killing each other trying to just you know be all high and mighty kill everybody and stuff like that um, and I'll get to another point related to that in a second you know everyone join everyone's just playing these oh god he's doing that I'm not gonna bother with him though basically no one knows how to cooperate anymore, and with a few of my friends especially, they are really fucking obnoxious when I play with them, because all they do is just, they want to dick around, they don't want to be serious when we're trying to do missions and stuff, and sometimes if they're like the VIP, they just intentionally spawn kill you, and it gets really fucking boring. It takes a lot away from the game, and I think... We need to have a way for people, especially if we're friends or just, you know, we tolerate each other, we play with each other on a regular basis. We need a way for that to be, um, you know, added back in or at least reinforced. And I think adding back or adding more uh, PVE into the game will help do that. And I'm talking about like adding in more heists. I think they should utilize the casino and do like a casino heist raid or something like that, right? Or use um, the altruist camp or something. Like with the raid the altruist camp or get a bunch of drugs from them and give them to Trevor or something, I don't know. Um, basically, like, like right now, I can only think of adding in more heist because uh, the uh, Franklin missions were kind of boring. No one plays them. Like very few people play them. They are really um, tough to play. And in all honesty, I don't like playing them. I played a few of the other ones besides the second one, which is the one I'm stuck at. Yeah, in all honesty, it's just really kind of, you know, we, we just need more stuff to do. Like, we need more um, PvE stuff, especially. Like, more heists, more missions, maybe more contact missions from Martin or, um, or Lester. I think that will definitely add in more cooperation back into the game because right now, cooperation is lacking. And that's exactly what... GTA was supposed to start out with was cooperation. Some people might argue with me on this, but in all honesty, like, if you're just gonna play a game non-stop for just killing each other, go play Call of Duty, because that's what that is. You know, there's a reason why I don't like playing COD, is because I like to be more cooperative and solve problems. I don't just like to spray and pay everywhere, you know? And that gets to my uh, second point related to uh, cooperation or lack thereof, is in the last four months I think since like since like December November the only weapon I've been getting killed by or I should say the vast majority of the kills those weapons were either the RPG or the marksman rifle like that's that's literally it like I'm getting I'm either getting marksman rifled or RPG by people in the game and oh god criminal damage is starting I don't want to play it I'm gonna go uh I'm just going to do a bike race real fast. They need to do something about that. Like, it's really, really shitty when the only weapon that's, you know, killing you is an RPG or a marksman rifle. And that also includes the homing rifle. That includes uh, people using uh, 
the heavy sniper and stuff like that. Whereas I, I've been using a wide variety of weapons to kill people in the game because I actually know how to play the game. I've played the game for three years and, you know, it's really, really obnoxious when people are just, uh, you know, they're trying to be cool. They, they shoot a rocket and then they kill themselves. And then uh, once you start getting close to them and you know how to beat their uh, game, you know, beat their uh, bullshitting game, they just go into passive mode and then they get out of passive mode and immediately use the uh, heavy shotgun on you, you know? So people are just, it's just really stupid, it really is. So what they should do is I think they should nerf the uh, accuracy of the marksman rifle because it's already a weak rifle itself. But they should also make explosives ammo, like all explosives ammo, a little bit more expensive. Uh, make the RPGs, uh, make the full, make, like, make the price to get a full uh, thing of RPGs around 20000 And also make the ammo for marksman rifles a lot more expensive than it already is. I mean, it's really expensive to have a full amount of sniper ammo. So make it even more expensive. And make, um, make the explosives more expensive because that's, you know, we need to get people to start using something else. And it's just take, it's taking a lot away from the game. Now, some people might suggest that they should add uh, age restrictions to the um, weapons that come in, because a lot of people are using the homing rocket to basically uh, just as a cheap weapon of sorts. And of course, the marksman rifle itself is OP, and you can own that from rank one, right? Now I think they should have unlocks in this game, not really based off of rank, because getting to level 100 was quite easy for my second character Even though it took me a while it's because I, I rarely play with her I know I, I never really use my second character that much Except to you know do daily objectives and occasional missions to rank her up to get to level 100 and have all the unlocks for the vehicles for her I think they should do more unlockable weapons via DLC But to get those weapons you have to like I said you have to unlock it through doing achievements so, or you have to, you know, play certain missions to get the weapons, and these missions make these missions really tough. A lot of cooperation involved. So, like, let's say you do a, the hypothetical casino heist, and you complete the heist, even though the heist is extremely difficult, and you unlock a really powerful AR. You see, that, that, that's, that's fair. I think that's totally fair. One, I mean, low ranks are still protected in this regard, because I know a lot of the, uh, a lot of the ARs that are really strong are were basically introduced to help low ranks fight against high ranks, right? So low ranks are protected because they still have to complete the mission to be able to do it. And then, you know, high ranks are protected as well because, you know, they, they don't get an oh, easy weapon, right? So I think that makes a lot more sense, in my opinion, to have it ranked, uh, rank locked, not rank locked, but uh, locked based off of achievement. Seriously, though, like, I fucking hate when people just use RPGs and marksman rifles all the time. It's really, really pathetic. It really is. <laughs> Finally, I think they need to make um, money not be so much of a problem because one of the things my friends always complain about with me is the fact that pretty much the only reason why I play this game right now is because of money. And the only reason why I was doing VIP missions was because of money itself. You know, because it's been... Uh, God, I have to drive all the way back to the find a shooting range. Like... Look at my funds up here, 17.8 million, right? And I feel like I still don't have enough because the next DLC is most likely going to be Lowriders, right? And with my second character, I'm going to be using that character to buy all the Lowriders and modify them fully for you guys, for YouTube, right? Every time I did that, every video I've done with uh, the Lowriders last time was very successful and whenever I do DLC related vehicles they're always very successful I'm always one of the first people to upload them because you know I get the DLC earlier here in Japan that's one of the benefits of being over here in Japan and um, I feel like I am the one that serves the community by showing off every vehicle so you guys know which one to buy or not and I know the same, same goes with apartments and stuff right so to be be prepared for DLC, I have to make sure I have enough funds because um, these DLC, especially for lowriders and for uh, vehicles that are modifiable at Denny's, it's really, really expensive. And I really don't know why Rockstar keeps making things more expensive because it's just driving away players. It really is. Like, a lot of my friends don't want to play right now because they don't want to, you know, grind missions to make money anymore. And they just, they're bored with the game. They said the fun's been taken out of it. 
And to be honest with you, I agree with them. Even though I still like to make money, I like, you know, I feel like it's just, uh, that's one of the few reasons I'm playing the game right now, is to make money. And I really think Rockstar needs to make the next DLC a little bit cheaper. They need to make stuff more affordable, and, like, there was really no reason for the T20 to be two million bucks, you know? I mean, I understand people have a lot of money right now because they have, um, a lot of money from going VIP missions and from heist and stuff, but still, Rockstar pretty much became, or Rockstar pretty much turned the game into, you have to have a shitload of money in order to get the next DLC. Which essentially translates to eventually we're not going to be able to afford DLC by doing missions and by doing heist and VIP stuff. We're just going to have to go into microtransactions and getting shark cards. And I think that's bullshit. That, that, that will be the death of GTA. That will be the day I put down the game and pretty much stop playing the game. It's when uh, DLC gets too expensive. Like if there's something that's like for 35 million. Oh my god. If there's something that's like twice as much as what I have right now in the game, 17 million, you know, I'm, there's no way I'm going to buy a shark card for that much money. That's a hundred dollar shark card, you know? Even though, the, even though GTA has been having sales on shark cards, I, God, I cannot stay on a bike today. I think that it's gotten to the point where uh, the game's just kind of died off because you need a shitload of money to be able to afford DLC. And that's bullshit. That's not how the game should be played. And it's it's eventually going to kill Rockstar because people like me and my friends uh, Ben and uh, Rosie and everyone else, we, we they've pretty much stopped playing GTA altogether. And I'm only on to do my daily objectives every day. You know, and that's not how Rockstar sh that's not how Rockstar intended on, on the game being played to begin with. And I don't know why they're continuing on this path right now. And there's really no reason for for Rockstar to have. DLC this expensive, especially when, uh, you know, they're, but it makes sense though, because they're promoting shark cards like nothing else, and it's eventually going to get to the point where you have to buy shark cards in order to buy the DLC, and I think that's, like I said, it's really shitty, and it's, that's not how Rockstar should be played. And also, lastly, the one thing I really, really am pissed off about are the cops. The NPCs in this game are really fucking crazy. Like, any NPC enemy you have in this game, you can get shot three times and you're dead. And the cops one shot on occasion. That's not supposed to happen. And it really takes away from the game. Like, these cops are relentless, they are unfair, the aimbot's insane. Um, there's, and there's no reason for it either. And they've also buffed the health, buffed up the health of the cops. And I think they really need to reduce the cops down a bit because I think it's just pathetic. So, I hope, I mean Rockstar obviously probably won't see this video, but I hope you guys um, find this video a little bit, uh, I don't know, educational for what long-term, long-time players like me want out of this game. And I want to hear, if you guys are long-time players of this game as well, I want, to, I want to hear your opinions. I cannot talk today. I'm extremely tired. I want to hear your opinions on how this game uh, should be improved upon because right now I'm bored as tits. <laughs> I'm just sitting here doing this shooting range shit by myself. I know you guys probably don't want to see this because this is actually a really, really boring daily objective. So... I'm going to go ahead and sign off from here, and I will talk to you guys all later. I'll see you on the next video. Take it easy, Phoenicians. Ah, Rambo these targets. <laughs>